and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today the 28th of march 2023 hope you had a good tuesday so far mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today let's have a look at the headlines of course overnight there was a choppy session in the us a mixed outcome as the nasdaq finished in negative territory whereas the other two major indices closed positively there's some evidence of sector rotation perhaps with big tech having performed very well lately and some calming in the banking sector which means there was some buying into some of the big banking names noticeably bank of america and jp morgan for example u.s futures are mildly positive in early asian trading they are off their highs a little bit and asian indices have followed that relatively strong u.s lead now trading higher the asx is up around about one percent and again that's slightly off the highs earlier in the session certainly been helped by material stocks uh, notably lithium stocks are doing very well today on the back of takeover talk from LTR. European equity futures are also pointing to a mildly higher open and we're seeing the VIX reinforcing this state of calmness drop below the 200 EMA and around about 22 support. That's a key level and one worth keeping an eye on. US dollar index also had a weak day yesterday, dropped towards support on the back of that relative equity strength, slightly down in Asia today. Some strength undoubtedly in the JPY but there is the Bank of Japan governor speaking this afternoon, which may move yen significantly. Gold has paused beneath 2000 and is slightly higher in Asia at this stage. Copper continues to edge higher day on day and all also had a good day moving towards the top of the range. Bitcoin continues to pause below resistance, just over 28,000 and near 10 month highs. No great movement in that over the last few days and one wonders whether there might be some selling coming in very soon if it fails to move higher from where it is right now on the data front there's not a lot going on today australian retail sales came in lower than expected as we've said the new boj head is speaking there is some u.s consumer confidence data coming out as well later uh, but it's the u.s pce data which is the weekly highlight which comes out on friday a couple of charts have caught our eye. Uh, the US dollar yen there is interesting. We broke through a pivot level at 13125 within an hour of the Asian session opening and moved down to the S1 pivot. You can see there's some support here. Uh, this is important. So some stabilization, but it'd be interesting to see where this goes after European open. Uh, just to give you a longer time frame picture, let's put it on the four hourly. And you can see here, there's the high from a couple of days ago. So a real sell-off over the last four hours in this. And at a critical level, we breached this and we could be down to 129.80, possibly. So one to keep an eye on if that yen strength continues. Could be a lot of movement, as I've said, in the yen today. In the ASX, we're looking at LYC in the rare earth space. You can see there we find a nice support around about uh, 6.30. We're moving up nicely. 660 looks to be an important level. There's a very good chance that if we breach that, we could see some buying coming back into this space, possibly an 8% move up to 720 in the short term is potentially on the cards. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.